Hello everybody, it's Blockyduck, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use World Edit in Minecraft 1.16. So, Alright everybody, let's go ahead and jump right into today's video, where I'll be showing you how to use World Edit in order to improve and build a lot faster whenever you are constructing buildings in Minecraft. Alright everybody, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use World Edit in Minecraft 1.16. So the first thing that you want to do is you can go ahead and log in to your world. And whenever you go to um, your world settings, and in order to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and save this world real quick. And then click on edit. You want to go ahead and make sure that your cheats are on in your world. So if you just go to the world settings, then you can actually... Um, Make sure that the cheat settings are on in your Minecraft world. So if you're playing in a survival world and you do not have cheats on, then you cannot use World Edit. But as long as you have cheats on in your Minecraft world, you can use World Edit. So the first thing you want to do whenever you log into the new world is you want to go ahead and give yourself a World Edit wand. And in order to do that, all you have to do is... Um, do the backslash, backslash, and then type in wand, and then go ahead and click on enter. And this will go ahead and give you a wooden axe, and the wooden axe is just the tool that you use whenever you are uh, creating things with World Edit. If you want to select different locations, you can also type in um, pose 1, and then you can do pose 2. But for this tutorial, we're just going to be using the wand function because I personally think it's easier. In your inventory, it'll say wooden axe, but this wooden axe is really your world edit wand. And basically what the world edit wand lets you do is it lets you choose certain blocks that you want to edit whenever you're using world edit. So once you get yourself a wand, the first command that you want to learn how to use is the set command. And the set command is probably the simplest command that you can learn how to do in world edit. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and choose a location. So we're just going to go ahead and make a house here with World Edit. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and left click on a block with your wooden axe in your hand. And it'll go ahead and set the first position. And notice it does not destroy the block because this isn't really a wooden axe. This is the World Edit wand. So then you can just go ahead and... Um, choose the second location so we're just going to make this house a very basic very simple five block by five block house so you can do one two three four five we're actually going to make it nine blocks six seven eight nine two three four five six seven eight nine and whenever you get to the second location that you want to use you want to go ahead and right click your wand with the axe and then it's going to go ahead and say the second position is set to whatever the coordinates of the second position are so now that you do that, you want to go ahead and type in backslash backslash set. And then you want to go ahead and type in the block that you want to set. So in this case, we want to make the floor out of um, spruce wood planks. So we'll start to type in spruce. And as you can see, when we type in the first few letters of spruce, all these different options show up that start with SP. And here is spruce planks right down here at the bottom. So you can just go ahead and click on enter. Once you click on spruce planks, and it will go ahead and change all of the blocks in your selected area to spruce planks. And that is basically what the set command function does in World Edit. So this is obviously a very useful command. It's a very useful thing that you can do in World Edit. And that is basically the foundations and the fundamentals of World Edit. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create some walls. So in order to create some walls of our house, you want to go ahead and choose the locations. So we'll click on the first location, and then we'll click on the second location. And usually it would show up, but we already clicked on this location, so it already has the coordinates saved for us. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and do backslash, backslash. And just as a little FYI, the backslash, backslash is what you want to do anytime you start a command with World Edit. You want to do the double backslash in order to signal to Minecraft that you're making a world edit command. And then we just want to go ahead and click on expand. And then we want to do five up. You can change this to any number, the five. You can make it four, three, two, one, or higher numbers than five. And if we do that and click enter, then it'll say that the region has expanded. And now it's time to actually make the walls for house. So we can do backslash backslash. And then you want to type in walls. 
and then you want to do the block that you want the walls to be. So in this case, we'll just make the walls out of bricks. So we'll start to type in bricks. And as you can see, as we continue typing in, it narrows things down. And here is bricks. And then we can go ahead and click on bricks, and it will go ahead and load. And if you look, the walls of this house are five blocks tall. So we have one, two, three, four, five blocks. And that's because we expanded the region to be five blocks tall. And then we went ahead and we set the walls of our house to be um, bricks. So the brick wall is five blocks tall. It goes around the entire house. And um, that's because we entered in those commands and we made the brick wall. And as you continue to use Word Edit, you'll become very familiar with these commands and you will have a much better understanding and be able to do this a lot faster. So the next thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and try the stack command. Now, for the stack command, what you want to do is we're going to go ahead and actually make a very brief roof of our house right here. And we'll just do this out of oak wood. And we will go on either side and just continue to stack this roof upward as we go. And you'll find that as you continue to use World Edit, that there are still definitely some things that you need to do by hand. Although World Edit takes all of the um, hard work and time consuming things out of building in Minecraft. So like if you're just doing a solid floor, it is much, much easier to do it with World Edit than it is just by doing it by hand. But if you wanted to add small details like this, then just doing it by hand is sometimes still the better option. So anyways, there's the roof of our house. And now we're gonna go ahead and stack the roof of our house. So the first thing that you wanna do is you want to go ahead and left click with your world edit wand on the location. And then you wanna go ahead and we will just grab some red material. And you want to actually stack this up until you reach the top of the roof. And yep, that is the top. And then you want to go ahead and right click on this region. So if you look here, basically what we did was we started at the bottom left corner of the roof and then with our first click and then our second click was the top right corner of the roof. And that is just to make sure that we get the entire roof in our stack because we only want to do this once or else it will um, not really be that useful if we have to spend 20 minutes stacking each little block of this roof. We can just get it all in one stack. So once you do that, you can go ahead and remove these red blocks because you don't want to stack those. The only thing you want to stack is just the normal roof. And let's just go ahead and see how wide this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Because we want another block to go out from the face of the house. And now we're just going to do backslash backslash stack. And then you want to enter the number of t blocks you want to stack it forward. So 10 blocks and then click on forward. And you can choose any um, things. So you can do back, down, east, left, uh, north, up, down. And those are some other very useful commands. But for this, um, for this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and use the forward command because that is the one that I personally use most often, and it's just the easiest to do. But these other ones, particularly up and down, are also very useful in some scenarios. So you want to go ahead and stack 10 forward and then click on enter. And if you look, now our house has a roof. Right like that. So here is the entire roof of our house. And that's how you use the stack command. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in some patches of dirt in front of our house. And in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and use the replace command. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and left click on the first area and then right click on the second area. And in order to use the replace command, this command is definitely a little bit trickier than the other ones. But once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do it with ease. So you just want to do backslash backslash and you want to use the replace command and then space and you want to type in the block that the area is. So in this case, we had selected the region of grass block and now you want to go ahead and do a percentage so we're just going to do 50 percent grass block and then you want to do a comma 
and then you can do another 50% will make this block dirt. And this does take some getting used to because this is a lot harder than just simply doing stack or um, set. However, this is another very useful command if you want to randomize a specific area. So you may want to pause the video at this point and make sure that you get the grasp of this. So you just want to do um, backslash backslash replace the block that is the main area. And then you want to go ahead and do the percentages that you would like, making sure that all the percentages add up to 100. And then you can go ahead and click on enter. And as you can see, all the blocks have been replaced. And so now half the blocks in this region are dirt and the other half are grass. So at this point, we're just going to go ahead and fill in our house a little bit, just adding some um, other details to it in order to make it our own. And mainly just to fill up this roof section here. And this tutorial isn't about how to build a house in Minecraft. This is the world edit tutorial. So this house is definitely not something that I would usually build in Minecraft without any detail whatsoever. But anyway, so the next command we're going to use is the copy and the paste command. And that is going to be the final command for this video. So once you know how to do that, you should pretty much be good as far as world edit commands are concerned. And what you want to do is you want to first select the one region that you want to use. So we'll go ahead and left click this and let's go ahead and get our red material back for the second side. Because for the second side, we're going to go ahead and um, set the second position. And right now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just go on the ground of whatever region you're at. Because it's just best that whenever you copy an item, you're on the ground. So you just want to do uh, backslash, backslash, and then you want to do copy. And then it'll go ahead and say the amount of blocks affected. And then you want to go ahead forward a little bit. And you want to go ahead and do backslash, backslash, paste at whatever block location you want. And then it's going to go ahead and paste this exact house forward. So in this matter, you can go ahead and actually copy and paste different buildings across your Minecraft world. And this is definitely one of the most useful commands, although it does take some getting used to because you have to be on the exact block. As you can see, I wasn't really paying much attention to what block exactly I was standing on. And so these houses aren't perfectly straight. But if you line up the houses so that they're perfectly straight and you go in a perfectly straight line, then these houses will be perfectly straight with each other. And you can just go ahead and do that. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed my little tutorial on how to use World Edit in Minecraft. Just as a reminder, the wand I'm holding in my hand, the Wooden Axe World Edit wand, is your key to success. And after watching this tutorial, hopefully you know how to use World Edit in Minecraft 1.16. And trust me, World Edit is a very useful, very useful mod. It is probably the best mod I've ever installed and the best mod that is out there. It does have a learning curve to it. It does take some getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, then you can go ahead and create buildings in Minecraft with ease like you never have done before, and you'll be amazed at all the progress that you can make once you download and install World Edit. Trust me, I have experienced the same kind of freedom with using World Edit as you will once you start using it. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned how to use World Edit. Have a great day.